All right, this book is God's in Disguise. So what is this book about? This basically, mm -hmm. this book is about your spiritual power, your knowledge, and then how we've disguised or hidden that. So I think to understand it, let's take a look at, to understand a little bit more about what is in this book and who this is for, let's take a look at the table of contents. And the first um, couple chapters, chapter one and chapter two, Alan gets into a really good definition of an ascension. Now, what is an ascension? Ascension is that time when you ascended up, where you felt bigger than your body. It's a state of masterfulness. But what happens in those states, it can trigger an ascension, booby trap, crash phenomena. So this is a time that you're huge, winning, life is going great. And then all of a sudden something happens. You lose that state. Could be an upset, could be a breakup, could be a business problems, could be financial problems, could be legal problems show up. And all of a sudden you go from feeling huge and on top of the world to crashing down. So in the first two chapters, Alan will get into that. Um, to highlight the next one, chapter four, this is something that also shows up in a book, Paradigm Matrix, and a book, The Secrets Book, where Alan talks about life force particles, which are attention, which are basically your bits of attention, your energy, your spiritual energy, where it is, what it comes from, um, and how you can control it. Then we get into, um, in chapter six, Alan starts with the quote, the kingdom of God is within you. And basically asks the question, so what does that mean? And Alan, in that, in that chapter, writes about the different universes of man. Um, he identifies 20, uh, I think 24 different universes and identifies them there. Um, as we go into the further chapters, um, Alan talks about some of the mechanisms that happens as you expand, as you get bigger, as you grow out, we run into, what do we run into as we do that? Uh, to use a, an example, when he talks about the secrets book or the zones of life book or the zone series, you know, Alan says, uses the red zone, which is the wrong place at the wrong time, the yellow zone, which is kind of the comfort zone. And then the green zone, which is the right place at the right time. But what happens is above the green zone, maybe the, maybe the gold zone as he defines it, and above that is the red zone of the next bigger game. So what that entails is chapter seven and eight. These are actually the things that as we expand, what are the red zone of the next bigger games and what do we run into? Chapter nine and chapter 10 are phenomenal chapters on reality. Alan talks about reality is created by agreement and that agreement is caused by a fusion of telepathic images. So chapter nine and chapter 10 get into that. And specifically Alan identifies five different types of telepathy in there. Then, and then through the rest of the book, Alan talks about, you know, especially in chapter 13 and 14, the pathway out. How can you reverse this process? How can you unlock the disguises that you're in um, and return to your godlike state, which is you're at cause over your own life and with the simple truth that you never made a mistake. Anything that's been created in your life was done knowingly and intentionally. And the key to finding that out is to unlocking that knowledge of you as God of your own universe. So that's a quick overview of, of this book. Um, we have a short description here um, as well that has some has um, an explanation of what's in the book. This comes directly from the Brock cover. So it starts out with a quote by Shakespeare, play out the play. And then as we scroll down a little, the sample chapter is the foreword. And Alan talks about some of the technological innovations we're seeing are actually replications of our natural spiritual abilities. So um, that's a great sample chapter. We'll give you a bit of an idea of where the book goes, uh, at least setting the idea for how do you get all the way out? Rid yourself of your disguises. So that is the book, God's in Disguise.